we need to look at academic, social, and behavior uh, supports and interventions to assist the child in the general education classroom, right? We need to be, and, and make sure those, those supports create meaningful relationships and bonds with peers. Okay, it's a very general statement too. Um, but, you know, we need to go into this how do we make this general education environment, how do we make it accessible to the student? Okay. I have sat in on a lot of IEP meetings where we are talking about, you know, Tyler can't do this and Tyler can't do that. And Tyler struggles with this and Tyler struggles with that. And Tyler can't stop this and Tyler does this. And by the end of the meeting, I wanna cry. Um, and so I think our biggest mistake is not presuming competence with our students. So we need to believe they can in our IEPs. We need to talk about their strengths and this is what they can accomplish. And this is the next thing that we will be working towards, right? Um, we need to demonstrate a clear understanding of the Down syndrome profile when we're creating an IEP, right? So executive functioning, challenges in executive functioning, challenges um, in vision and in hearing and in speech, strengths in the social piece. Um, there, there's this whole uh, graphic that we've created that really outlines that clearly. We should be applying all those to the student with their own individual um, makeup, right? And saying, does the student have this piece on the profile? They do. Okay, what are we going to do to um, make this easier? What supports are we going to put in place for their vision issues, for example? Okay, so just kind of make sure that's all being applied. Um, we need to make sure we are providing all the accommodations and modifications that we can before we say this student cannot access the general education curriculum, right? Um, and we also need to say where each subject will be, you know, like how much time is spent in the general education setting. And, it, and if that's the case, we don't remove them from that setting until we believe we have followed that IEP and used all the supports and all the accommodations um, and the supplementary aids, we've exhausted them all, and then we remove them from that setting. So um, that's sort of what the IEP should outline. 